Hey everyone. Should be no surprise why we're here today. This past Thursday, we saw the drop of an item that we've been waiting a long time for. And we put out a fun YouTube short for that drop. But today we're gonna dig a little deeper on the Agilite Pincer Placard second layer admin pouch and the Pincer Pistol Mag Pouch. And this has been an item of personal interest since I saw it at SHOT Show 2022. All right, let's get into it. I feel like I need to set the stage here a little regarding admin pouches. During my deployment, I had a plate carrier like this. Plenty of room to have my magazines, a little off center, which meant I didn't have to contend with space for an admin pouch. And that type of carrier served me well, with the admin pouch being used for what you would normally use an admin pouch for. Sticky notes or a small notebook, a pen, maybe a flashlight. I'd sometimes have some business cards in here or batteries. Basically, the admin pouch was the junk drawer of my kit. The stuff that doesn't really fit into a specific category would go into my admin pouch. Now, since I've been out of the military, I've used mainly low visibility carriers like this Agilite K0. I usually keep my cummerbund area free mainly for weight saving, but also to not impede my arm movements while maneuvering with these carriers. And the admin pouch that I really liked on my military carrier just couldn't really find a space here on these low visibility carriers. I've tried the Tactical Tailor and other horizontal admin pouches, but I felt like they got in the way of drawing and indexing my mags in my pincer placard. And the other issue I had was the lack of support for the pincer placard. As much as I love the pincer placard for my AR mags, the space on top really couldn't be used for anything else. There was no Velcro to attach and no one was making something that attached into the pincer placard. In the past, I usually used Molly mag carriers and I could attach something right on top of the mag holders. But with the pincer placard, I couldn't do that. And SHOT Show 2022 was neat because we saw the prototype of what I'm gonna be showing off today. An admin pouch that somehow integrated into the pincer placard and it gave options for pistol pouches or other single Molly items to be attached. Sign me up. So let's get into an in-depth look at the pouches on the bench. We'll show you how this all attaches into the pincer placard. We'll look at what colors Agilite is offering this in, go over organization and how I ended up setting this up, and a caveat that my setup likely isn't gonna be your setup. But this is based on experiences that I've had and my own mission set. But let's get on the bench and take a look at the admin pouch first. Looking at it from the front, I think the admin pouch is appealing. Those that like to build out will notice no molly, so this seems like the last layer. The name choice of second layer makes me think that Agilite might have something else up their sleeve in the future. One thing I hope to see is some type of magazine holder that attaches into the pincher placket so I can have six magazines. But that might be wishful thinking. This loot field is nice to show off all the cool patches Agilite sent me and not Walsh. I hope they have some admin pouch patch similar to the six pack, one that fits in this group I have so far. On the left and right side, you see single width laser cut molly area. And I use these to add two of the pincer pistol mag pouches, but you can use this for your favorite single width molly pouch. Turning this pouch over, you see what looks like a mess of flaps, but this will all make sense when we install it. And honestly, without any instructions or directions from Agilite, this was pretty self-explanatory and I was able to install it with no problems. All right, let's take a look inside the admin pouch. You have one big zipper on the top of the pouch with pull tabs very similar to the Agilite six pack hanger pouch. Inside we see some awesome organization that is a hybrid of preset areas for stuff on the front and loop back that lets you organize how you see fit. There's a small zippered enclosure here, which is good for flat or smaller objects like band-aids, maybe business cards or similar objects. Now I originally thought about using this for something like a signal mirror, but the thing being the outermost part of the carrier, I was worried about possibly cracking that. Just make sure you put smaller objects here, but something that could handle abuse if you ever had to go prone. Next in from the zippered enclosure are two open top pouches with five elastic areas sewn on top. And this worked out good for a small multi-tool. The elastic was used for a smaller admin flashlight. I mean, this is an admin pouch. Cable for charging my devices and a well-used but sharp pocket knife. And I don't want to just load this thing up because I can. I want stuff that I know I'll use because I've used it in the past. And you may have questions about why I chose a specific object to put in here. And those questions are perfect for our Thursday night live chat. We have every Thursday night. So come join us over there and you can ask all the questions that I may not answer in this video. Now for the rest of the area, it is a blank slate for you to design how you see fit. 
I added a defense mechanisms two pistol mag pouch in here to have one additional spare mag just in case, but also to have a really good flashlight for searching for things that can also double as a support hand weapon light. This little clip, I have a very good product for this. The Olight iMini. It's activated when taking it off its mount, not very bright and good to read a map really quick. All right, that's it for the admin pouch. So let's take a short detour and let's take a look at the pincer pistol mag pouches. Looking at this, you'll see a familiar design with the rubberized opening of the pouch and a double layer of elastic. You're gonna get an absolutely fantastic pouch that can take a beating and keep on kicking. On the back side of the pouch for attaching, you see a length of fabric with the end sandwiching a piece of plastic, it seems like. This end proves very valuable in two ways. One, it makes it a bit easier to weave into molly or pels. And the added thickness makes it practically impossible to become undone. Drawing and indexing from these pouches is fantastic and very similar to the feel of the AR-15 pincer mag pouch. The wide mouth does make re-indexing a breeze. And I recently went through a nighttime qualification where I used these pouches for Mag 3 and Mag 4 after I went through the magazines on my, on my belt. For the first time using, there were some lessons learned. The strong side pouch wasn't as intuitive for me to draw from. I was reaching over my chest and it just felt awkward. But support side was no problem. Now, a possible solution, instead of having a magazine on your strong side, maybe a multi-tool. Even during my deployment training, I don't think I had more than two or three pistol magazines on me. Now, clearly this is a personal preference and with the appropriate amount of training, you could probably make this work for you. All right, let's get into how to install this on the pincer placard. As I mentioned, all these flaps may look confusing, but you'll see where they line up nice. I recommend laying your admin pouch face down with the bits and doodads facing up. Then layer the pincer placard on top. As you bring it down on the admin pouch, fit all the flaps through the openings on the pincer placard. The big ones wrap around on the side and the three skinnier ones go up into the mouth of the AR-15 mag pouch openings. When this is all done, you have a pretty secure setup. Then use the G-hooks and connect the whole thing into your carrier setup. Another recommendation, I would install the pincer pistol magazine pouches to the admin pouch before hooking this stuff all to the pincer placard. Just makes it a little easier. All right, but before we get into the pros and cons, let's take a look at what options you could buy these things under. You can get these in multicam, black, and ranger green. Now, knowing Agilite, they're gonna have additional colors sometime in the future, and I reached out to them through Instagram. They confirmed that with me. Not sure of a time frame for that, though. All right, let's get into pros and cons. All right, my first big pro is the capability this brings to my carrier. If you're like me, you like organizing your carrier, even if your life is in disarray. Everything has a place and a purpose. IFAC in the dangler, magazines in the mag pouches, radio in the radio pouch, and on and on. But what about the one-off stuff? Stuff you've used once or twice in the past didn't really have a good spot for it on your carrier. Now, some stuff could find a spot, like a credit card wrapped in duct tape, could justifiably be in your IFAC. But not everything has a spot. And for me, there's things like that that I've experienced quite a bit. Specifically with note taking, having a spot for my pen and a notebook, maybe a little admin light that doesn't blind everyone. These things play an important role in your kit if the mission dictates those things. For my current job, it does, so I need those things. During my recent nighttime qual, I didn't have the defense mechanisms insert in this admin pouch yet. So my cloud defensive MCH went into my support side magazine pouch here on the carrier. What a mistake that was. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get the flashlight out of that pouch. So just make sure the things you put in the magazine pouches are magazines or magazine shaped like multi-tools. For my next pro, the integration into the pincer placard and honestly into other placards as well. As long as the Velcro has the right orientation, you can make this admin pouch work with your non-pincher placard, whatever that might be. And I think a lot of you are gonna like that feature. My next pro, the hybrid organization that's in this. Having part of the pouch with the Velcro and part with organized portions gives me the best of both worlds. There's some structure here, but not enough to lock you into something you don't want. And that's beneficial for some of us. All right, my last pro, it seems like Agilite maximizes space on this pouch. Now, clearly, I'm not a gear designer, but even I couldn't imagine the space between the pincer inserts to be used for anything. From chem sticks to pens, even Sharpies or intermediate weapons, Agilite maximizes the space this admin pouch takes up. And it has been a fun journey with this product, learning its capabilities. All right, cons, and there's a couple. 
First, unlike my older admin pouches that sat above the magazines, this one sits on top of them. So you're building yourself out and that could be extremely uncomfortable if your mission has you go prone a lot. The second con, this one's pretty minor and it seems like Agilite's already working on this. They only offer it in three colors, black, ranger green, and multicam. Now again, they didn't tell me what other colors they're gonna offer, but that there are more to come. Now, if you made it this far and you're interested, we're actually gonna be giving away one of these on our Thursday night live chat this upcoming Thursday, May 18th. But you gotta be present to win. All right, that's it for me, folks. I wanna say thanks to our Patreons and our YouTube members. We appreciate the constant support and it's always awesome to see those ranks grow. And thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below and let me know what you think of the Agilite Pincer Placard Second Layer Admin Pouch. Oof, that's a mouthful. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out. I feel like I got my joysticks here for my video game. Pew, 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 pew.